Hi, welcome to PK's classes. Today we will study anti-emetics. Anti-emetics are the drugs which which inhibit emesis or vomiting. Emesis is nothing but your vomiting and vomiting it can be inhibited by anti-emetics. So, vomiting, vomiting is also known as emesis. Okay? And this emesis or vomiting is a reflex action. Reflex action to certain stimuli. And all the stimuli activate the vomiting center present in medulla oblongata. So, vomiting center is ultimately activated which produces the vomiting as a reflex action. So, vomiting reflex, we can write vomiting reflex. So, the vomiting center, the receptors present in vomiting center are H1, M1, D2, 5-HT3, NK1 neurokinin 1 the receptor for substance p this is h1 for histamine m1 for acetylcholine d2 for dopamine 5 ht 3 for 5 ht and nk1 for substance p all these receptors are present in vomiting center okay and uh, vomiting center the information to vomiting center comes from chemo receptor trigger zone CTZ, okay, chemo receptor trigger zone CTZ, and this is uh, present in area prostema uh, below the fourth ventricle, okay, and here the receptors are D2, 5-HT3, NK1, etc. Okay, so what are the stimuli which activate the vomiting center? So we will discuss all those stimuli. Some of the stimuli can directly activate the vomiting center and some of the stimuli can activate the vomiting center through chemoreceptor trigozone and some also, uh, some are also there, some other uh, are there nucleus, tractus, solitarius. Okay. So, let us discuss the uh, st stimuli. Say, see, vomiting is caused by repulsive sight, smell. So you can say the bad smell. Okay, emotions, pain. All these send their impulses to the cortex. The higher cortical centers, cerebral cortex and then they stimulate the vomiting center. Similarly, when uh, we are in motion or uh, traveling, some of us experience uh, vomiting and uh, uh, this is uh, commonly known as motion sickness motion sickness the vomiting during traveling so that stimulates the vestibular nuclei and uh, through labyrinth it goes to the vomiting center and activated. Okay. B besides motion, there are drugs uh, which are uh, uh, toxic to ear, ototoxic, like aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides like uh, uh, streptomycin, carnamycin, amic acid. Okay. These drugs uh, are ototoxic. So those drugs which are ototoxic or toxic to the ear, the vestibule they 
can also cause vomiting and there is a disease called Meniere's disease here also there is uh, stimulation of uh, this vestibular nuclei and vomiting center okay then another uh, another uh, stimuli is pregnancy pregnancy during pregnancy also uh, mainly during the first trimester of uh, uh, pregnancy um, there is uh, uh, stimuli which can activate the chemoreceptor trigger zone okay and uh, can uh, then stimulate the vomiting center several drugs are there several drugs are there like uh, uh, estrogens anesthetics opioids digitalis okay they also activate the ctj then chemotherapy chemotherapy or anti cancer drugs anti cancer drugs radiotherapy surgery toxins so all these also activate the vomiting center through small intestine okay then several diseases are there like acute myocardial infraction gastritis biliary colic ureteric colic ureter ureter colic all those activate the nucleus tractor solitarius which ultimately activates the vomiting center okay so the acute myocardial infection gastritis biliary colic ureteric colic all these activate the nucleus tractor solitarius and then uh, it activates the vomiting center so we can say all these are stimuli which can activate the uh, vomiting center uh, causing the vomiting reflex okay so in vestibular nuclei we have receptors like h1 m1 okay so which are the receptors involved in vomiting h1 m1 d2 5st3 nk1 so accordingly all these drugs all these uh, um, receptors can be uh, blocked to block the vomiting so anti emetic drugs so when we say anti emetic drugs they can be divided into several groups like d2 receptor blockers d2 receptor blockers like metoclopramide domperidone clochlor perazine triethyl perazine okay then 5ht3 receptor antagonists like undansetron granisetron tropisetron dolasetron okay then we can have h1 receptor antagonists cyclizine meclizine diphen hydramine 
डायमेन हाइड्रिनेट ओके प्रोमिथाजाइन ओके देन वी कैन हैव एंटी मस्कारिनिक ड्रग्स लाइक हायोसाइन देन वी कैन हैव एन के वन एंटागोनिट्स लाइक एप्रेपिटेंट इन एडिशन टू देम वी कैन हैव कैनाबिनोइड्स लाइक नाबिलोन ड्रोनाबिनल एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो एड ग्लूकोकोटिकोइड्स विथ अदर ड्रग्स टू एनहांस देयर एक्शन सो ऑल दिस ड्रग्स वी हैव विच कैन बी यूज एज एंटीमेटिक्स एंड इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ भूमिटिंग then we can easily write the mechanism of all the drugs thank you